Hello, my name is Dylan Jessup and I'm the founder of Police Prep. And today I'd like to talk to you about what's taking place within Ontario regarding the application and testing process for potential police recruits. Effective January 1st, 2020, the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police have changed the process from the former one, which involved the PADI, the WCT, and the BPAD, and implemented a new system, which we're going to talk about. Now you have to realize that not every police agency is going to be, require you to go through this process. So you're going to have to speak to your recruiters and speak to any officers and investigate to make sure that you're well prepared for whatever process that particular police agency is using to test and evaluate you to see if they want to hire you as a candidate. So make sure you do your homework. Okay? So we're going to start off by talking about some of the changes that are taking place with the new Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police process. Now, first off, again, it's effective January 1st, 2020. During phase one, the pre-hiring stage, you're going to have to go through an online information package, after which you're going to have to do a mental ability assessment. This is a test that contains two components. The first is the verbal subset, which contains 36 questions in which you will have seven minutes to complete. The second component is the quantitative subset, which contains 21 questions in which you will have seven minutes to complete. You have to note that this is not a pass or fail assessment. All of your results will be sent to the police agency you're applying for to determine whether they're interested in looking at you as a potential candidate. During stage three, you're going to have a personality assessment and they're going to be using the ESQ2 or employee screening questionnaire, which you'll have to complete. Phase two of the police hiring initial stages, there's going to be another information session, session after which you're going to have to prepare a formal application package, probably including a resume. And during stages six and stage seven, you will have to go through interviews, including a local focus interview and an essential competency interview. There'll be additional testing potentially with driving assessments, scenarios, and the fitness. Phase three of the police hiring end stages is where the background investigation is going to be conducted and you will be invited in for psychological evaluations and you will probably have to also have to have a medical examination performed. If you're su successful with all of these stages, you will be offered a conditional offer and hopefully begin a career as a police officer. So again, not every single police agency is going to require you to go through this process, but you should be aware of it, especially if you're applying within Ontario. Police Prep has already updated the site to have material to help you prepare for the new process used by the OACP. We've posted 10 practice exams to help you prepare for the general mental ability assessment test, as well as information for the personality assessment, the employee screening questionnaire, and the verbal and the quantitative sections. We've got full length practice exams and we will be updating the site as we get more information and we'll continue to improve the material as we go forward. We also have material for the interviews, the resumes, everything you need to help you prepare for the process that you're going to be applying for. Make sure you're well prepared. Again, these tests do not have a pass-fail component. You want to score as high as you can to you know, make the best impression you can when you're applying to become a police officer. As I said, not every police agency is going to require you to go through this process, so you're going to have to investigate and figure out and make sure that you're preparing for the correct examinations and the, the correct process. The OPP in particular, uh, from what I understand, they're not going to be using this process, but they are going to require the SIGMA testing at one stage during the application and testing process for the Ontario Provincial Police. So these are also available on our site. And it's going to be a little bit different of a test. It's going to involve spelling, spatial identification, problem solving, judgment, logic problems, and vocabulary. All of these are also posted on the site. We have practice exams to prepare you for these types of tests as well. There's preparation material to help you for you know, fitness, for interviews, for resumes, for psychological testing, as well as teaching material, everything you need to help you prepare for these tests. So... Just to finish things off, I want to make sure that you're well prepared. So make sure that you investigate and figure out what's involved in the process that you're going to be applying for. Make sure that you, if you do have to write an exam, you're well prepared for it and you do very well on it. Make sure you're prepared for your interviews and be as professional as possible because it's an excellent career and they're looking for good candidates and you want to make sure that you're one of the good candidates applying. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us. That's what we're here for. We'll help you in any way possible. Good luck with your preparation and let us know if we can do anything for you.